Now at 11 community members and leaders gathering tonight to discuss gun violence. From law enforcement to government officials to local activists, they all stood up to share their insight. CBS Force Carly Barnett was there. Carly. Well, Naja Elliott, they talked about how this is something that they've done before, and it's something they say they will continue to do until they get it right. Now, they want to focus, of course, on getting these so-called bad guys off the street, but they also want to focus on preventative measures to keep this violence from happening in the first place. A crowd of people met up at Gould's Park to speak against gun violence. My son was killed by a stray bullet. Romania Dukes is founder of Mothers Fighting for Justice and one of the organizers of the town hall. And one of the things that I'm trying to stop is the code of silence. And we all stick with that code of silence and it has to stop. And I'm getting emotional about it because one, mothers like myself, we don't receive justice until you all speak up. You have to speak up. She, along with the group Mothers Demand Action, shared the message, no more guns, no more violence. They're so afraid to go to sleep in my district that what they do is they take the top mattress and they put it down and they sleep on the floor because they're worried that while they sleep, a stray bullet might go through their window. No child should live in a war zone. This comes after recent violent crime in the southwest Miami-Dade area. Last week, we reported a total of 12 people shot in six days in four separate shootings, all within a few miles of each other. And in the craziest thing of them all, they're not shooting for money. They ain't shooting for dope. They're shooting for foolishness. So you got kids on kids shooting each other. You have 15, 13-year-old victims. I have a 14-year-old son. All right, I'm tired of seeing kids do that. They talked about the importance of informing parents and students about the programs already available through the schools and through community involvement and building a trust and collaboration to make sure people committing dangerous crimes are caught. We need to partner with the community so that they will feel confident to tell us when they know something. Now, there is a bit of good news here. We pulled some numbers from the Miami-Dade Police Department, and they say that homicides are actually down 27% since this time last year. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava said they have also confiscated 1,400 illegal firearms out of the county. Now, as far as those recent shootings, no arrests have been made at this point. Live in Gould's Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News Tonight.